Brand Applehands with UCCS Athletics. We're here with head women's golf coach Sadie Farnsworth. Coach, open up against CSU Pueblo for the season. Take seventh in the final day. How do you really feel about the opening event? We kind of use that to gauge where we we're going to be at. We knew it would be a rough start. Just talking to um, some of the other coaches and like what we were able to recruit and get on our teams this year. Um, so it's kind of exciting to start at the country club. It's a good course. We've played it before. We have a lot, not a lot of course course knowledge, but some local knowledge. Um, we played okay. I mean, they they finished about where we wanted to finish. I mean, obviously there's always room for improvement, but there's also the first tournament jitters that we are kind of getting over. And coming off of last season, what was really the mindset coming into the 2015 season? I just to get better. Um, I lot I did a lot of training over the summer, kind of to set up our practices how I wanted to. I did we started this new drills where there's they're able to measure um, to kind of compete with themselves and get better at the drills. So I have kind of a new setup at practice. Um, I've been working with the same girls for so long. I can kind of see what they've done over the summer, help them progress in their games. Um, mentally, I think they're stronger. I mean, we have the three juniors and the one senior, but juniors coming off of, of this program where they started with the program, it, it's really they're developing and they're growing and they're not as nervous and they're able to kind of translate that into their game where they're ready to go and they're more confident. Now let's talk about the first RMAC event. Team does take fourth in the final day. What really worked well for the team at Fox Hill? Fox Hill, uh, we, the first day was kind of a struggle. Um, I felt I was a little frustrated. We kind of got all the frustrations out of the putting green after the round. Um, talked about what needed to happen the next day, what I expected. Um, kind of prepared for the next day. And then they went and they did it. I mean, we our last four holes on the first round were absolutely awful. So we talked about that, addressed that, and as on day two, we're coming into the stretch of those last four holes, and the wind starts going about 30 miles an hour. I kind of got into panic mode. We could try was addressing each shot that I had seen trouble with. Um, so I, I mean, we played those last three, four holes well on the second day, and that pretty much was the changer. I know we got fourth. We were beat by two shots, um, um, MSU Billings. So they're not in our conference, so technically we're rated third in the conference right now, which is a good position. Um, to be in because we're where we need to be. We can reach second if we play very well. Um, so our goal for those tournaments are top three, and that's what we did. I mean, that's we hit the goal, we hit our stroke goal, what we wanted to be at, so we were ready to go. And as far as the team's third season of the program, what's really the goals for this year's team? The goal for this year is definitely to play more as a team instead of compete against each other. We've had that in the, in the past where everybody wants to travel, everybody wants to beat each other. Unfortunately, it is an individual sport, so you are competing against your teammates, but they're starting to see the importance of like the top four scores on the team. You know, They're holding each other's backs. They're starting to really work individually. Um, as our non-championship season, we don't get as much practice as I would like to. And it is a more spread out season this year, so they are taking it upon themselves to practice individually and to do better at preparing for the next tournament. And when I am there as an unofficial practice, they're ready to go and they've completed the things that I've asked so we can actually make progress instead of addressing the same things repeatedly. In a tough last event at Metropolitan State University at Denver, what did you really take away from the tournament, Coach? It was rough. It was rough. I was very, very frustrated. Um, I feel like we didn't really stick to the game plan. Um, the simple things that I felt like we've made so much progress on and I've been able to raise my expectations, they just did not, we just weren't there. That tournament was a very rough tournament. They, I mean, it was a tough, tough field. The eight of the, te eight of the 20 teams are top 25 in the nation. So, I mean, we had our hands full from the get-go. They played it probably you know, 500 yards further than a typical tournament that we've been playing in, and the greens were tight. And then when on the first day, after the girls, you know, after had some super low scores come in, the pin placements were insane on the second day. I mean, they that course is a championship course. They set it up that way. They really wanted to see who, like, really were the best golfers. We struggled. Um, I definitely think there's room for improvement um, just because our expectations were set so high. But I'm excited because they also understood some of the flaws in their games and they understood that, you know, in the heat of competition, the worst part of your game is going to shine. Um, so this week we're going to really work on that 
um, kind of figure out what, how to readdress the issues. Um, we like to make a game plan if they can't, if they just can't like go through the game plan, it's really, really rough. I mean, it's hard. And then everyone, emotions get high, everyone gets pissed. Like that's just what happens. So this week we're just gonna play a lot, maybe get them more relaxed as we come into our uh, second RMAC tournament, which we need to play well and we need to be performing well. So the, kind of the goal for this week is just, you know, get everybody more comfortable, get them back to what we'd, we'd already gotten to, you know, get us, get us back comfortable, just ready to go and compete. Confidence is going to be back, hopefully, after playing a few rounds just as a team. And we should be ready to go in Albuquerque. Well, there you have it. Head women's golf coach, Sadie Farnsworth. Thank you, coach.